hello everyone there is another video for you in this video what are you going to do we're going to replace a, a keyboard panel for acer chromebook we're going to check out the model number so first let's turn it off because chromebook when you open the lid it turns on straight away without any pushing power button okay so let's close it okay so that's the actual model number So CB five one three two T series model number N one five Q eight. Okay. So I'm going to show you the replacement first. So that's the actual replacement comes out. Okay. I tried to buy only the keyboard without this top panel that is very difficult to get and very difficult to do as well because we need to melt down every single plastic grab it pull out the actual board and then put it back but this one much more easier so let's start and show you how to do that so first of all turn off your machine and take out all the screws that you can see so i'm going to do a couple of them and i'll post the video and you can organize the screw like that so this one from the corner I left it in the corner as you can see here if you do have the pad rubber pad okay don't open it out because the ESA doesn't hide the screws like HP you know sometimes we think probably underneath the plastic pad might be any screw hidden but for this model none so don't open it up somehow this is missing here okay so as you can see all the screws organized i know which one goes where all of them same inside so you don't need to worry about it okay the second thing is hold it like this take a plastic flat tool they're going to turn on anyway but that's okay we can turn it off and leave it like that if you do have any memory card in here make sure you eject it first before you do and then slowly slowly As you can see simple to do it's not too hard honestly okay. this side is up once again this side hello sir all right so spider up i'm doing that far it's good now and now i'm going to check in here in case if there is any clip Same system. See, easily this one came out easily. But very careful. Don't lift it out all the way, because there might be any cable. Yeah. As you can see, USB port cable. I like to disconnect this. Much more easier. Very strong adhesive. Okay. So this panel, leave it on the side, safe place. Now we're going to remove every single component that you can see from here to there. First, take out the battery by disconnecting this one first, okay, and then the tape, if you do have any tapes in here, that's fine. This is secured with two screws, which is simple to open, okay. keep it on the side, okay, second one is the speaker. Take this out. Sometimes it's difficult to open up. But play with it. Okay, this is the right one and that is the left one. Okay, like MacBook here, they put kind of strong adhesive underneath. So don't worry, just give it a try. There is no screws. Nothing to lose. You can see and this one is all. And this one goes underneath these flexes so next time when you put it back together don't get confused okay so this is the time to disconnect this keyboard flex take this out touchpad panel disconnect this too
I leave the screws with it so I know which one goes where. Okay. Now this is free to remove. Very strong tape with it. Good. Fine. And this uh, Wi Fi card. Leave it like that. This is the Wi Fi card one. That is the display connector. This one also need to remove. See easily three. One is the flat one. One. Two. Three. Okay, now check if there is any other screw. Okay. Disconnect that as well. Careful when you take it out because those are very, very sensitive. Then we must need to lift it up a little bit and then lose this screw. Hinges one. One. Two. Yeah. You must need to do that. Otherwise, the motherboard is not going to come out from it. Two in here, two in there. One, two, 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 four, four hinges. Remember it. Now, as you can see, that's the reason I lift it. Now you don't have to do it manually. Okay, that's the actual boot. Okay, so now a couple of components still here. Which one we must need to remove? And come out, try from other side. Be careful. Yeah, good. Good. Now, if you remove these th three screws, it's going to come up easily. One, two. And another more screws. Sometimes the screw opening could be hard if you don't have the right size of the screwdriver you must need to fill it and check that's the actual panel now we'll take this out and put everything back there see that's the one this key is not only missing, that is completely not working, few of them. So, there is the thermal paste, kind of thermal pad. And the new one also does have, so I'm not removing. And there are some magnets. You can check the magnets still here. So nothing we have to take out from this to that. Okay. So old one, keep it on the side. Put the new one back exactly like that. Okay. Simple. Now, first is first. The touchpad panel goes back into the place. And don't forget to put the screw back on. Now the second thing, actual motherboard, it goes, this panel goes under the right hinge and before you start, make sure you peel off this thermal pad gently, okay? This is kind of heat sink for this machine, okay? Now it goes like that, I believe. And close it back. Okay, that's fine. This one also goes into the place. Yeah. Now it's properly seated. Thank you. 
Christmas. No. Now, four more screws here. You need to follow the error instruction. If you film the video, you can check there are all kinds of uh, identity for the screw holes. If you see anything triangular, that means you must need to put the screws now. And rest of the holes, it comes from the top lid, okay? Over the top lid. So you must need to skip that one. These two screw goes here and right here. So this one gonna be blank. Now three screws on the motherboard, the flat one goes here, and these two right here and there, okay that's fine, now the speaker must need to put it on, okay. First, screws good. good. Touchpad panel connector. That's one. And then this one right here We don't have anything left over except these two screws for the battery. One here, one there. That's absolutely fine now. Don't forget to connect this, otherwise, this. Headphone jack and USB connector will not work. Yeah, that's fine. The screws go according to the arrangement here. This one right here. So we're gonna type here something. The brown fox jumps quickly over the lazy dog. 
So A to Z, all the button does work. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Backspace. Hit enter. Yeah, it does work. So that's how you replace the keyboard panel for Chromebook Acer, the model number M15Q8. Okay. And if you do have any question regarding this model, feel free to leave it in the comment section. And please do not forget to subscribe my channel to get more future videos. And I hope I'll see you in the next video. Bye for